Maybe if I stand exactly where I am and not move an inch, people will think I turn into a statue too and I won't have to go through this adventure. Nah, I don't look like I'm made of stone. Eee, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's work our way through Hyrule Castle by talking to people just because. I already taught this to people, so I don't really think this is necessary to look through. <laughs> Most of the doors in the castle are uh, blocked off at this point, so yeah, you're not going to be able to see what's beyond those doors. Hey, hey, talk to me. There are monsters outside the castle. If you see one, use your shield to defend yourself. Personally, I'd rather use my sword, in all honesty. <laughs> sword? Much, much better in most circumstances. A good offense is the best defense in Zelda games most of the time. <laughs> At least in my opinion. I've always found having a yeah, sword like so an easier uh, way to take care of things. Yes, that door is blocked off. This door is locked. Uh, so let's get out of here and see what's going on outside after that catastrophe. You guys, you gonna let me through now? Why? Just... What? What's he gonna do in the garden? What is he going to do in the garden? I'm, I'm pretty sure all the other ones have copy pasta messages as well, so I'm just gonna skip them. Uh, we got some Octoroks here. They shoot some rocks, and you can kind of protect yourself with the shield, but as I said, whoosh, offense is much better. <laughs> Uh, can't get through rocks like that at this point in the game, so don't worry about that too much. We got a crow, they are literally called crow, and they, some of them knock rupees out of your pockets, so be careful of that. Oh yeah, I am rich, yeah! Okay, that's, that was way too much of a reaction for such a small amount there. And you'll notice that there's little holes around here and stuff like that. You're like, hmm, well, what is that little hole? Well, you'll find out later. You also notice high contrast tree over here, which is also something that's a little bit suspicious. But anyway, what's what's going on over here? Hmm, I don't really think you did, unless there was a lot more than what i seen. <laughs> but in any case, I think I got them all. Even though, that they're, even though they're gonna respawn a little bit later. Alright, you guys get on that. Oh no, looks like the road is blocked off. This can't be good. Well, finish up so I can get back to town. Because I need to find a way to get to the Minish Woods. Well, why are you talking to me then? Well, then again, I'm te technically talking to you. Mm, yep, pretty much. Oh. With its magical power. Hmm. Perhaps we'll find out later on in the game. He was the angry carpenter guy. Well, actually, all these guys are from uh, Ocarina of Time. I was gonna say he's from Ocarina of Time, but they really are all from uh, Ocarina of Time. Hmm. Yeah, I, I could definitely tell that based off of the work and the uh, rubble that's all around these parts. And no, there's a dead in there, at least for the moment. Okay, I'm just gonna take the regular paths here. I just want to show you guys what's up in these places. Whoops. <laughs> Tiny GameCube D-pad, because I'm using um, the uh, um, Game Boy Player to record this. These are acro bandits. They pop out of the ground and they kind of home in on you like that. They are such an easy enemy. You just slash at them like that. And they usually give a bunch of prizes because, you know, you know you're killing five of them at once. My favorite way to kill them is just to do that as they're falling down. I was a little bit too close there that time. It's a heart! Yes! I am eating the heart of my enemies! And it tastes delicious because I'm still hungry as I still haven't gotten any food. Well, besides that heart. Alright, thank you, Sign, for your assistance. <laughs> I don't need you anymore. There we go, that's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> No, oh, this path has blocked off too. Okay, I already know where to go though, and I already showed the people where to go. In fact, this uh, pathway is uh, rather linear in that you only have one way to go. Acrobat! 
prizes. I'm trying to get a bunch of rupees because I, I want to get something a little bit later, so don't mind me. I'm just doing stuff while I explore the area. These uh, little beetle guys, uh, they, they latch onto you and they slow you down and also prevent you from using your sword. Hmm. What might that odd tree stump be? It has the same kind of hole as that other hole we seen earlier. Oh well, I guess we'll find out later. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe we'll never find out. You just never know. Uh, I are in the eastern hills now. As you've seen, as I said, everything is blocked off, so the pathway is really, really linear. I don't think there's anyone home at this time. No, but I could demolish their pottery. <laughs> How did that come back? Uh, perhaps we'll find out about that as well. And yeah, this is a little farm, a little blocked-in cave over there as well. Just keep in mind all this little stuff. Remember I said earlier that the overworld of this game is uh, very small, but it's very compact? Well, we've already passed by like 20 things, like 20 different little side quests that we can do. Um, later on in the future, believe it or not, there is a lot to do in this game. Alright, Minish Woods, here we are. Oh my goodness. The music. It's beautiful. You can't swim. <laughs> okay, I just want to demonstrate that once. You don't lose any life if you go in the water like that. It's just funny to watch Link flash, uh, flail around like that. Uh, these little thorns, don't touch them, they do hurt. <laughs> They're brambles of doom from Donkey Kong Country 2. And I sort of made a rhyme there, but not quite. Doom and 2 are close, but not quite close enough. Anyway, I'm wasting enough time here, I guess. I'm just gonna move on. Um, wait a second, here's a choo-choo. They, there's all different kinds of choo-choos throughout the game, and, uh, they're, like that one was a green choo-choo, they're named after their color or by their attribute, like there's rock choo-choos and blue choo-choos, red choo-choos, all sorts of choo-choos. They, they became like a signature Zelda enemy of sorts. Anyway, let's move on through here. Hmm, little mouse hole down there. Um, killing all the monsters must save the world. What's going on? Wait, I just passed through there. What the? Where did you come from? Ow! Oh, somebody stop them! Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, help! Somebody! Can't anybody hear me? Well, I guess I should go save him. But not before getting a heart piece over here. <laughs> if you don't go through here, you're gonna miss this heart piece. Uh, you can go back and get it later. But uh, when you get four pieces of hearts, you'll get a new heart container at the upper left corner, which, as you know in Zelda games, represents your health. In case that wasn't obvious, that, because, you know, hearts are kind of a health indicator in video games in general. Anyway, let's go save him. Don't worry. I'm coming. I'm rolling all the way there. Stand there, do something! Oh. Ow! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me! Well, I, I kind of do, in all honesty. <laughs> and boss music starts for an intense fight. Man, that was intense. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that boss music plays there, but it just seems out of place compared to. You know, like where it should be, because those are already enemies we've dealt with before. Whew, well done. That was close. Not that I couldn't handle them myself, but that's besides the point. What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? Oh, I see. You do? A Picori, you say? And Vati? Vati's cursed someone? What? The Sacred Blade? Is that so? I see. I see. You know, you and I have a, quite a lot in common. You see, I too am on a quest to break a curse of Vati's. And you say that reforging the Sacred Blade can break his curse, eh? Well, 
And you have found yourself a companion, my boy. Woohoo! My name is Ezlo. It is a pleasure to make, <clears throat> make your acquaintance. The man doing that voice is going to kill my throat. <laughs> Alright, let's go, buddy. Wait, wait, I say. You walk so quickly. Too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you've noticed I have no legs. I don't like... Okay, I'll go slower. Boy, take a good look at me! Do you really think I can walk that fast? I was going as slow as I possibly could. And there's no way you could have taken those monsters. Stop lying. <laughs> I mean, from earlier. Arrgh. Ah! If it isn't one thing, it's another! You're a troublesome boy! Oh! My face! Oh, wait, but... Uh, uh, there! Now you can't possibly leave me behind. My! It's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey! Quit your squirming! Can't you sit still? See? There. Yes, yes. That's it. Much better. Now! I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If ever you need my insights, press select. I'll be happy to help. Sounds good. Ah, such a hopeless child. Coming from the one who couldn't take on Octorox. And, whoops, why did I do that? I'm trying to remember what is the select button map to. Ah, there we go. It's Y button on my GameCube controller. What? I haven't even had time to settle in. You're bothering me? Deep woods shine lies. Obviously enough, deep in the heart of these woods. So says my superior intuitive sense. Now, get a move on. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, anyway, now let's move down through here, if you don't mind. And, oh, wait a second. Hold on a moment, my boy. We've stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. But they're, they don't even exist, so what, what are you talking about? Uh, who are the Minish? Obvious. Silly. Allow me to explain. You humans call them Picori, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how in the world of humans only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest they built a tiny village where many now live. But if we were to enter the village, we'll have to make you a touch smaller first. <clears throat> Maybe I should stop doing that voice. My voice, I mean my throat's killing me. Look at that. At first glance it appears to be a mere stomp, yes? No, that stump was a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down the minish size. Just stand on the stump and press R to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R. Get me up there and we'll give it a try. Okie dokie. Dance Dance Revolution on my head! Super tiny! Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish! I'll probably do his crazy voice later on when my throat recovers, but not right now. <laughs> now, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though. Portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to a... Didn't he just say that? But there is one thing you must know. Being Minish sized is full of dangers. Mere puddles at your normal size are bottomless swamps to the Minish. And as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. So yeah, I can press R to poop back out. And don't worry, you don't have to watch that cutscene every time. You can just press R to skip ahead. There you go. Unless you find a new type of portal, but anyway. So look at this. Puddle? No! 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 Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> Alas, it is impossible for my tiny self to cross. And now the dangers of puddles are very real, and we must use lily pads to cross. And whoa! Suddenly, an awesome atmosphere change. Is this not spectacular? <laughs> Just look at this, this is awesome. Minish Village, we have arrived. Hmm, it appears we have found the Minish Village. That wasn't very hard. Ooh, ooh, Fuzzy, I want to hug you. Pico, 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 
I gather it's been quite some time since they last saw a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying just now? Um, no. Ah yes, that was the language of the Minish. It's a little different from the dialect I'm most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said myself. But perhaps there's someone here who understands your language. We should look around. Well, if you look around the village, you're gonna find a lot of the Minish that say that. And wait, they do exist! It's true! I was wrong all along, who would have guessed? <laughs> but anyway, if you look around the Minish, you're not gonna... I mean, if you look around the village, you're not gonna find any Minish that will be able to understand, so... Just go in here. <laughs> this one speaks English. Hmm, I've never seen an outfit like that before. Are you a... human? Oh my, it's been quite some time since any humans came here. My name's Festari. I watch the Abbey, as well as the Shrine to the North. You seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? Yup. You could use a jabber nut. It will allow you to understand our tongue. You should be able to find one in the barrel house just south of here. Okie dokie. Do you have anything else to say before I... No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to check through that and see if he had a, a different dialect. Alright, so go down this way. There is the barrel house. Look at that, windows, like a skylight in the barrels, very clever. And here we are. And oops. <laughs> oh, well, that was a tough puzzle. Oh, Link! This must be the jabber nut Festari told you about. It's moving! It's moving! Well, you'd better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. The jabber not now you can understand the language of the Minish and kill a sentient creature by in <clears throat> by digestion. And now let's talk around. Well, I should say, let's look around the village and talk to people or Minish. So you've eaten the jabber not, and now you can understand us. The elders said that humans can no longer see us as they once could. It's amazing that you can see us. I too am amazed because I didn't even think you existed. <laughs> Wait a second. Is this a I thought there was a little path there that I never uh, went went down before, but I guess I didn't ever never went down there before because I couldn't go down there before. <laughs> Let's go in this mushroom shoe. Wow, this is a cool house. Our ancestors, our, our ancestors, the ancient Minish, used the portal between our worlds. It brought them into the human world, and they settled into this forest. Good to know. And, yeah, you can chop down the nuts, and sometimes you can find some goodies inside them throughout the village. There are so many monsters around these woods lately. The Elder said that even the Shrine to the North is filled with monsters now. A shrine, you say? Mm. Mm. So, looks like we're, we have an idea as to where we need to go next. Do you want to reforge that sword? You will need the help of an expert smith. Master Malari and his seven apprentices can help you. They live in the mountains where they can find all the ore they need. I'm sure the Elder would tell you about him if you asked. So, looks like the person that we're looking for to reforge a sword isn't in this village after all. Curses! But we do need something else from here. And did I explore all the houses? I'm not sure. You probably haven't noticed, but lots of Minish live right in Hyrule Town. No, I didn't see any. We Minish live in Hyrule Town and other places too, not just in these woods. I'm getting... I'm getting set to leave for town and visit some of my Minish friends there. Alright, let's go up here and see what you have to say now. So you've eaten the Jabbernut and now you can understand this? Sorry, but I know little about swords. I'm sure the Elder can help you. That's the last house that I haven't visited, or at least I think it's the last house. And I use the term house loosely here because I think well, none of these are really houses, more like houses built into something. Oh, I missed a couple houses in the center. <laughs> Hey, nice clothes! I want to wear human clothes too. Well, you could. I mean... I don't see why you couldn't make clothing as well, just like this. Do you know about kinstone pieces? They're all the rage among humans now. Ah, kinstones. They are a part of a side side quest on a side quest that's a side quest of a side quest. and. 
You'll see when I get into them later. There are so many monsters around these woods lately. The elder said that even the shrine to the... I, I, I that one here. So I must have just missed the houses over there then. Okay. Because I know I went in that pothouse. And here is where the elder is. And I saved this for last. Oh, you speak our language? It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We've had... We have little to offer you in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Thank, <clears throat> Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Heslo. Yeah, I'm trying the voice again. This child is Link. We need to break a curse that has been cast on the Princess of Hyrule. To do so, we need to reforge the broken Picori blade. Ah, uh, yes. And you've come here now hoping to have the blade reforged? Yeah, but we know it's not here. I mean, we know the guy isn't here. Hmm, well, if that's what you're after, you'll need the four mystic elements. Ah, of course, there's always a catch. These elements are the crystalline forms of the energies of this world. Only by infusing the blade with these energies can a new blade be forged. Here, let me give you... <clears throat> here, give me your map. I can mark where these elements can be found. Sweet! And that's where they can be found. The earth element can be found in the shrine to the north of Astarte. <clears throat> Fastari's Abbey. Speak with Fastari. Speak with Fastari. He will show you the path to the shrine's entrance. Go with caution. Evil creatures have lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once after you have found the Earth Element. No, okie dokie. Yeah, for, for some reason, I could not pronounce Fastari. I, I don't understand why. <laughs> All right, in I go. You wish to go to the shrine? Very well, this way. Boy, they sure are open to outsiders. <laughs> Vile beasts have settled in recently. Be careful, it is quite dangerous. Mm, that's all? Okay. Alright, now when you go through here, now you can go through little holes like this that you might have noticed, and if you're small like this, you wouldn't have been able to pick up this heart piece. That's why I said to pick up that heart piece when you pass by through, pass through here before. But now, behold the entrance of the shrine. And also, he's, he's a nice little bit of detailing and polish that the game has. If you go out the left, you actually uh, uh, exit the left side of that. See that? Go down, you exit down, exit facing down, go right, you exit facing right. That's a nice little bit of added detail. But anyway, I'm going to end off the part here because I'm going to start the dungeon in the next part. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.